America. Greetings and welcome, friends, to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all, it is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, our number is 855-660-4261, if you have comments. If you want to contribute to the conversation, if you want to share a success story, 855-660-4261 is your number. If you have a, any questions about the longevity products or ingredients or skin care formulations, if you have a skin health issue that you'd like help with, we can help you out at 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the Bright Side or you hear us recommend on the Bright Side, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask them about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine multivitamin mineral complex powder that you add to water and drink. It's a wonderful way to get your B vitamins, your vitamin C, amino acids. It's got the fat, fat-soluble fat vitamins, D, E, A, and K. If you're dealing with any digestive health issues, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine goes right to work. Most folks will notice results within one or two doses, results like appetite suppression, weight loss. If you feel like you overate this holiday season, you want to lose some poundage, one of the best ways to do it is to get yourself on a good liquid nutritional supplement program. And the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a great start. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you want to start a longevity business, let them know that for a one-time $10 fee. You can have your own business, be your own boss, make some money selling longevity products, and, of course, get your products at the wholesale price. Okay, welcome aboard. Thanks so much for joining us on the bright side. We're going to finish talking about uh, the miracle polysat or miracle proteoglycam poly uh, a protein sugar combination. Proteoglycam means protein and sugar. We're going to be, uh, finish talking about the amazing proteoglycam high aluronic acid. Then we're going to talk about fucoidin and the Z radical. Fucoidin is an amazing polysaccharide, not quite as important in the body as hyaluronic acid is, but man, is fucoidin helpful if you're dealing with blood, blood clotting issues or if you've got digestive tract issues. Even if you have cancer, fucoidin has wonderful anti-tumor and anti-cancer properties. You'll get the fucoidin in the Z-radical products. We're going to talk about that here in a little bit. And then we're going to talk about eye health and we'll talk about glutathione. But before we go there, I got a bunch of letters a couple of days ago from folks who want me to address some of the points that uh, one of the do- uh, this doctor, John McDougall guy, who was on Coast to Coast a couple of nights ago, made a whole a bunch of crazy, crazy statements about diet and about nutrition. And I got a bunch of letters. People want me to comment on that. I'm going to spend a couple minutes doing that. For those of you who don't know, Dr. John McDougall is an MD, and he's the author of a whole bunch of diet books that focus on promoting grains and fruits and veggies and anti-promoting, actually bashing animal products. Yes, he's one of these guys who just bashes on the dairy and on the grain, uh, on the eggs and on the beef and tells people they should be eating lots of grains and, and uh, 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 starchy foods. Dr. McDougall's actually, his latest book is called The Starch Solution. I'm not kidding. Dr. McDougall's a prolific writer. His books are mostly about uh, diet and digestion, and they encourage people to eat uh, 
uh, uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. You know, vegetables obviously are important. We talk about that here on the bright side all the time. But what, where Dr. McDougall kind of is pretty darn extreme, even in the world of militant vegetarians, Dr. McDougall's thing is we want to be eating bread and we want to be eating rice. And we got and we, I mean, I can't even believe I'm saying this and I can't even believe I'm responding to this nonsense. But I, respond, I must, because this guy made a whole bunch of claims on Coast to Coast. And apparently, based on the letters I'm getting, you guys are are as amazed by, or shocked by, uh, shocked by his statements as I was. And anyway, in any case, uh, his latest book is called The Starch Solution. Dr. McDougal feels like eating more starch is the solution to the American health crisis. Eat more bread, eat more rice, eat more pasta. This is literally what he says. Dr. McDougal's hypothesis is based on the idea that we eat for energy. Starch is energy. So if you eat starch, you'll have more energy. It just go right to the energy. Never mind the fact that the body is very, very careful with energy. And the last thing your body wants to deal with is a large amount of food energy, the the, the kind of uh, input of food, uh, the kind of input of energy that you get when you eat starch. The last thing the body wants to have to deal with or process is large inputs of energy. And of course, it's not uh, when it has to process large amounts of energy, as a, any uh, cursory look at a biochemistry textbook will tell you. That means it's going to be storing that energy as fat. The body can't handle large amounts of energy. Starch is large amounts of energy. So what ends up happening is the starch gets turned to fat. That's just a biochemical fact. Fat is the way the body protects itself from excess energy. It's the way the body stores excess energy for a rainy day. It's a, 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 an evolutionarily adaptive mechanism. Lots of energy comes in, excess energy comes in, that energy gets stored as fat. It's really that simple. It's basic, basic biochemistry. All you got to do is understand that there's a relationship between sugar, starch, starch is a long chain of sugar, and fat, starch, gets broken down into sugar, that sugar gets turned into fat. Simple. Sugar is clearly important stuff in, in small amounts, but in excess amounts that the body can't handle right away, that is the stuff that's going to get stored a little bit in the liver, a little bit in muscle, and a lot of it in fat. And any biochemist can tell you that, but Dr. McDougall is not a chemist. He's a doctor, and that's not necessarily a compliment. Dr. McDougall is actually thinks it's kind of funny. He thinks it's, he's very dismissive about the possibility that starch becomes fat. He thinks it's very amusing. He, and, and how, you know the proof he offers that there's no way that starch can get turned into fat? He says, have you ever seen a fat Asian person? Not quite. But he says that if you go to Asia, uh, where they eat lots of rice, where rice is a staple, uh, and Asians are, uh, are less obese as a rule than Americans, who supposedly, at least according to Dr. McDougall, don't eat as much starch. So uh, we are fat because we're not eating a lot of starch. Asians, Asians are not fat because they do. This is actually what he said on the air on George Norrie. You can listen to it if you have a membership to uh, Coast to Coast, Coast to Coast AM. He literally says, Asians, the proof that starch doesn't get turned to fat is in Asia. Now, leaving aside this dubious idea that Americans are avoiding eating starch, I don't know any Americans that avoid eating starch. Most Americans I know can't get enough starch. The reason Asians tend to be less overweight than Americans is not because they're eating starch. It's because they're not eating for entertainment. They're eating for functionality. Asians, traditionally anyway, Asians eat a lot less calories than we do, traditionally. And Asians also eat a lot of fish with their rice. That's an animal food, Dr. McDougall. And Asians eat a lot of seafood, Dr. McDougall. Lots of it. In fact, they probably get as much, as much of their calories from seafood as they do from, from rice. And, of course, traditionally, anyway, Asian uh, populations didn't eat or d didn't eat as much processed foods as we do. Dr. McDougall actually makes the claim that human beings are starchivores. This is his words. He says, we're starchivores. He says, we're seekers of starch. And that apparently proves that that's what we should be eating. Because we seek starch, that means that we should be eating starch. Literally, he's saying these things, folks. I wonder if he means that because we seek, Snickers, uh, uh, seek potato chips and Snickers bars that we need to be eating potato chips and Snickers bars, too. He says human beings are meant to eat starch. He further states, uh, this is a direct quote. I had to listen to this entire thing, and believe me, this was not easy. I actually went and Googled him and listened to a couple of his YouTubes, and that wasn't easy either. This guy is a biochemical bonehead from the word go. In any case, uh, there's more, more stuff here that I'll tell you about when we come back from our break. Our number is... 
855-660-4261. If you heard Doc Jim McDougall on, uh, on Coast to Coast, I'd love to hear your take as well. Uh, 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back right after this. You're listening to The Bright Side. You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U-Health.com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30%, while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us, and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well. Free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. We're back on 
the bright side. Got a couple lines open for you at 855-660-4261. Love to hear from you. If you got comments or you want to share a success story or questions about the longevity products, questions about health conditions, you want to get off your meds or help a loved one get off their meds. If you want to lose a few pounds, we can help you do that too. Give us a call at 855-660-4261. If you heard Dr. McDougall on Coast to Coast the other night, I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to hear your take on what uh, Dr. McDougall, Dr. McDougall was saying, Dr. McDougall's latest book is The Starch Solution. And a couple, uh, I got a few letters here over the last couple of days from folks who wanted me to address this idea of using starch as a medicine, I suppose, using starch to help take care of health care issues. This is Dr. McDougall's philosophy anyway. This is what he's talking about on Coast to Coast. He says, human beings are starchivores. That's his word, starchivores. We're seekers of starch. So that obviously means that starch is what we need to be eating. He says, this is a quote, starch, quote, starch has always been at the center of our diet, unquote. I'm not sure how he comes to this conclusion. Pretty much all nutritionists and anthropologists will tell you that human beings are omnivores. That means we eat everything. Opportunistic eaters we are. We eat it all. If we can get energy from it, we're going to eat it. Opportunistic eaters are eaters that eat any kind of food that will help them derive energy. Dr. McDougall is as un- uninformed about anthropology and, and the history of humanity as he is about chemistry. Not only has starch not always been at the center of our diet, it turns out that the human body, the human physical body as we know it today, is around 200,000 years old. And while starch has been at the center of our diet, maybe about 10,000 years, That means that for 95% of the human body's existence on planet Earth, we didn't eat a lot of starch. Human beings basically evolved and developed without large amounts of starch for the vast majority of the human body's existence. Mr. uh, Dr. McDougall, his major mistake is to simplify foods into animal and vegetable. This is a classic move that militant vegetarians make. And again, I should tell you, and I said this before, I don't eat a lot of meat, and meat is not a great food. Processed meat, that is, supermarket meat. I'm not talking about if you go out and hunt food. If you're a hunter, that's different. If you're eating your meat and slaughtering your meat and and doing it all fresh and it's all wild and and, uh, grass-fed, etc., that's different. But supermarket meat, McDonald's meat, and hamburgers and that kind of stuff is definitely not good food. But that doesn't mean that human beings shouldn't be eating animal products. This this is a major mistake. I don't know if it's a mistake. It, It seems sort of devious and sneaky that vegetarians do when they're trying to say how important and how bad animal foods are and how great uh, uh, vegetarian foods are. T. Colin Campbell's uh, is, that's a classic, one of his classic moves. He, he's the guy that wrote the book uh, uh, The China something, I forgot, the, the China Study and now he has another book, I forgot the name of that one uh, but he's another example of a militant vegetarian who who conveniently lump, uh, divide all foods into animal foods and vegetable foods and then in animal foods they basically mean meat when they talk about animal foods, and when it comes to star, or maybe milk, sometimes they'll throw that one in there too. Uh, and when they talk about vegetables, at least when Dr. McDougall talks about vegetables, he's talking about starch. So what he does is he simplifies foods into animal foods and vegetable foods, by which he means starch and meat. And then he makes uh, uh, some mention of vegetables and some mention of fruits, and, and he does mention eggs and dairy a little bit. For the most part in his interview, anyway, on Coast to Coast, when he talks about plant foods, he's talking about starch. And when he talks about animal foods, he's talking about meat. So let's dissect, break apart some of this, this real nutritional silliness. First of all, as I said, I, I want to be very clear here. The vast amount of the majority of our foods should be plant-based. The vast amount, the majority of our, ca- our cal- caloric intake should be plant-based, clearly. But that doesn't mean starch. It means vegetables. Vegetables, 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 vegetables. They're powerful foods, powerful medicines. They're full of fiber, which is an undigestible kind of starch, and they're amazing. And most of our calories should be coming from vegetables, clearly. Nobody's disagreeing with that. Fruits are not vegetables, and for the most part, starch doesn't really mean vegetables, with some exceptions. The most powerful medicinal and nutritionally dense vegetables, kale, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, cabbage, radishes, onions, have very little starch. The more medicine, the more powerfully medicinal a vegetable is, the less starch it's going to have. Starch is sugar. Starch is a form of energy for a seed, and it's a form of energy for us in small amounts. P. 
paleolithically, caveman-wise, our ancestors ate whatever they could find. And that did include some starchy root vegetables, clearly. They did have some starch, but to say that human beings have always been starch avoiders and that we primarily eat starch is ridiculous. And to say that because human beings historically and paleolithically ate vegetables, and to make that mean that human beings ate lots of starch, which Dr. McDougall does numerous times, not only on his interview with on Coast to Coast, but on his YouTube videos, to say that, that because we ate vegetables and we ate whatever we could find as we were growing up on the African savanna many uh, thousands and thousands of years ago, to say that that means that we should be eating a lot of starch is silly at best and sneaky and devious and misleading at worst. Yes, we should be eating lots of veggies, which are medicinal. And at least historically, these veggies were packed with micronutrients. However, vegetables can be toxic too, folks. Meat's not toxic. Dairy's not toxic. Eggs aren't toxic. But vegetables, they can be toxic. Gluten is a classic example of a, a vegetable toxin, which happens to be found in high starch foods, like grains. And the nutrients in plants tend to be harder to access than the nutrients in meat and the nutrients in dairy and the nutrients in eggs. And as far as starch goes, by far and away, the most significant source of starch is cereal grains, which can contain especially toxic compounds, i.e. gluten, which did not appear, grains did not appear on the eating scene until a mere 10,000 years ago, hardly anything, a blip in the history of humanity or the history of the human body. On the other hand, to make meat the equivalent of animal foods and to say every time uh, you say animal foods to mean meat, that's equally silly and, uh, silly and misleading. Clearly, meat is packed, loaded, dense with nutrition. But perhaps you can make a case that cooking meat and processing meat is problematic and indeed supermarket meat, as I say, is a big problem. But the nutritional value of eggs, the nutritional value of dairy like whey, that, folks, is off the charts. And whenever T. Colin Campbell and Dr. McDougall and militant vegetarians tell you about, about how bad animal foods are, they never mention eggs, or rarely, and they never mention whey protein. They'll always uh, make an equivalent between animal foods and meat. This is a sneaky, nasty trick that militant vegetarians use. It's not fair, and it's not accurate, and it's misleading. The fact is, yes, indeed, there are problems associated with meat. But when you talk about animal foods and talk about how bad animal foods are, you're forgetting that no, no vegetables have the same kind of growth, anabolic, bodybuilding, repairing, and anti-aging, and easy-to-access nutrients that eggs and dairy, raw dairy, whey protein especially, uh, which is a processed form of dairy, uh, no vegetables have that kind of nutritional value, none. Zero. Zippo. There's no way to get growth factors, growth peptides from any kind of vegetable source. The only place you're going to get growth factors, growth peptides, substances that develop the uh, build, mature the digestive tract lining, support the immune system. The only place you're going to get these things are in dairy and in eggs, and those are animal foods. Starch, folks, is by definition one substance, sugar, period, end of story. There's no vitamins in starch, there's no minerals in starch, there's no protein or essential fats. Dr. McDougall's probably saying, you know, admittedly not to eat pure starch, but he's saying he foods have large amounts of calories derived from starch, but you're still going to get far less nutritional value from these kinds of foods than you are from good old animal foods. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side, we'll be back after this. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335.
an e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LaSig a long time ago. LaSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LaSig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a Vapriot at LaSig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. LaSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. Who says things can't go down before they go up? The freeze-dry guy, that's who. The freeze-dry guy has just learned of a 2014 manufacturer's price increase on Mountain House freeze-dried foods. So what is he doing about Mountain House food prices going up? The freeze-dry guy is bringing down prices, 20% down for the rest of 2013. Delicious freeze-dried foods like beef stroganoff, green beans, and lasagna with meat sauce are 20% off through December 31st. Freeze-dried peas, diced chicken, and more are 20% off now through December 31st. Go to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com, or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. Hurry before Mountain House's 2014 prices. Load up now on tasty freeze-dried foods with a guaranteed shelf life of 25 years or more. Who says ending your year on a down note isn't a good thing? Get Mountain House food down 20% only at freezedryguy.com. According to the FBI, close to 400,000 burglaries take place in the United States between November and December each year. Seems burglars shop for the holidays, too, for easy targets. Here are a few things that you can do to lower the risk of a break-in. Lock doors and windows. Don't have newspapers and mail accumulate in front of your house. Don't announce your travel plans on social media. And plug in fake TV. Burglars love the dark. Fake TV is a bit like a light on a timer, but more convincing. Plugs into any outlet and simulates the colors and movement of a real TV. Burglars will see light and movement and likely move on to easier targets. Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and makes a great Christmas gift. Or it's perfect if you're traveling over the holidays or anytime. So before you leave your house looking like an empty, easy target, order Fake TV today. Call 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231, and the Berkey Guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey Light, the Berkey Guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey Guy at 1 877 886 3653. That's 1 877 886 3653. Or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We are the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. If you miss a program, want to review a program, there's tons of information on all of these shows, and it's usually a good idea to listen twice. I try to, I try to get be as, uh, as succinct as I can, but there's just so much, so much stuff to talk about. 
We, uh, I want to continue, we'll continue talking about hyaluronic acid and uh, fucoidin and the Z-radical product and eye health as well. Nutrients for the eyes. Let me see if there's anything else I want to tell you about. Good old Dr. McDougal. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If anybody heard that coast-to-coast uh, interview a couple of days ago, Dr. McDougal, by the way, also uh, gave his take on, put his, put his, gave us his opinion on the whole vitamin. Should I take a vitamin? Should I not take a vitamin? Uh, nonsense. I blogged about that at pharmacistben.com. Uh, and surprise, surprise, Dr. McDougall says that vitamin supplements don't help and that using a one-a-day type vitamin, that's his reference for, for, the kind of, for, for taking vitamins or not, a one-a-day vitamin. Uh, he says that they could actually do more harm than good, and he quotes the silliness about the uh, beta carotene in lung cancer a couple of years ago. A couple, uh, there was one study that said that people who took synthetic beta carotene supplements had higher rates of lung cancer, as if beta carotene is a, a vitamin. I mean, this is the kind of nonsense that we hear from uh, from folks who uh, from the medical world, medical professionals who should know better about the importance of a vitamin or not. Uh, they'll tell you, oh well, uh, beta carotene has been shown to cause cancer. Synthetic beta carotene did cause some higher rates of cancer in those folks who were predisposed. This was a few years ago, but of course, beta carotene is not. Not a vitamin. Beta carotene is not an essential nutrient. Beta carotene has nothing to do with whether or not taking beta carotene has nothing to do with whether or not you should take a multiple vitamin on a daily basis. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, if you have any questions, you can give us a call at 855-660-4261. I'd love to hear what your take is. If you've heard, uh, if you heard Doc, Dr. McDougall on Coast to Coast a couple of nights ago. All right, we'll continue our discussion on hyaluronic acid and eye health and peptides and glutathione and Z radical and fucoidin and more on our next Brightside episode. Time to hit the phones at 855-660-4261. Welcome to the Brightside, Robert in Nevada. What's going on? Hey, uh, pharmacist Ben and Hughes, thanks for taking my call. Appreciate it. Sure. It's funny that you talked about that doctor on uh, Coast to Coast who I did not hear, but he talked about starch, which, as you know, turns to sugar, and that's my right. first uh, subject. You and I chatted about sugar a week or two ago, and you gave a good d- tutorial on it. One more thing on that subject, and I want to move on to proteins. Uh, what then is a connection, if any, between eating lots of sugar and mental health, like depression or psychosis yeah. or anything like that? Yeah, that's a great question. When you when we eat sugar, sugar is a super very concentrated energy. That's its role, its main role. That's its only role, really, is to provide energy. But energy it has to be is handled by the body very carefully. You can't just flood the body with energy. Energy is very explosive, and the body has developed mechanisms for clearing excess energy out of the blood. So you eat your sugar, or drink your sugar. It goes through your digestive system. It goes right into your blood pretty darn quickly. And in the blood, uh, a little bit is supposed to stay in the blood, some will get stored in the muscle, some will get stored in the liver, and the rest gets pulled out really fast, and you go low blood sugar. The brain runs on sugar, so as soon as you go low blood sugar, you're going to start to feel a little wacky. You're going to feel uh, uh, have problems thinking, problems concentrating. You'll have mood issues. If this happens a lot, you'll be depressed. You'll have low levels of, of brain energy. You won't be able to think as clearly. All of this is secondary to that pulling of sugar out of the blood. It's called hypo, which means low, hypoglycemia. Now, what will happen is when you go hypoglycemic, after the sugar gets all pulled out of your blood, your body will say, emergency, emergency, low sugar. Let's release some sugar from the, uh, from the liver, and it will release sugar from the liver. Even before that, it will release cortisol from the adrenal glands, and that will make you feel jittery, and that will make you feel anxious. So first you'll get depressed. First you'll feel tired. First you'll have uh, confusion problems thinking, memory problems, all uh, depression, uh, lethargy, fatigue, all of those kinds of things. And then you're going to get a big jolt of anxiety kind of energy. Or even worse, if you go get coffee, you'll get even more anxiety type energy. And you go back and forth between lethargy and depression and uh, uh, fatigue and jitteriness and anxiety and mania, perhaps. By the way, this is one of the reasons why people have bipolar disorders. It's problems with these up and downs. I call it the, uh, the hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, high blood sugar. Sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster and that's what sugar does small amounts of sugar fuel the brain very important for you can't run your brain without sugar I shouldn't say that you, it, one of your main brains main sources of, pro, uh, of energy is sugar however your brain can actually utilize uh, get energy from fat as well and it can get energy from protein too we can get energy from fat and protein in fact even though while uh, it's sort of an emergency source of protein it's uh, uh, deriving uh, emergency source of energy deriving energy 
from protein, it can still be done. And it's actually a great strategy if you're dealing with bipolar issues or, or electrical conductivity issues. Seizure disorders are a classic case of the body benefiting from a high-fat, high-protein diet. You know, high-fat and high-protein have a stabilizing effect on blood sugar, and that's what you're looking for is the stabilizing effects. You, you, you get off of that high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster. Did I answer your question? High blood sugar? Absolutely. Okay, good. High blood sugar, you get at, you, uh, when, your, when your blood sugar goes up, you'll get mania and uh, 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 excitability, uh, anxiety, jitteriness. When the, ang- when the sugar gets pulled out of your blood, you'll go into fatigue and tiredness and problems thinking, etc. That's the high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster. All right, Robert, thanks okay. so much. Any, anything else I can help you with? Yeah, yeah, real quick. A uh, guy I work with used to work at a cheese factory, and according to him, protein is the waste byproduct of cells. And I'm thinking about getting Well, that's too stupid shape. to even, either you misunderstood or this guy's too stupid to even respond to. I don't even know where to begin to respond to that. Protein's a waste product? What he may yeah, mean, that's... what he may mean is whey, W-H-E-Y, whey protein, uh, or whey itself, not whey protein, that but whey, whey itself. Maybe I'm, yes, maybe I'm that makes more sense. You're right. Right. Okay. Now, when you take cheese, the way you make cheese is you take dairy, you add chemicals, enzymes, and such. And what happens is the, the milk will separate into two fractions, two portions. One is called casein, out of which they make cheese, and the other is called whey. And they used to throw that stuff out or feed it to the pigs until maybe 30 or 40 years ago. They started to realize that, that there was some good stuff in that whey, and part of that whey is something called whey protein. And the protein component of whey, which in turn is a component of dairy, is amazing. Maybe next to eggs, the most, it may be even more than eggs, certainly along the same lines as eggs, the most important food you could ever eat. It, it's a waste in terms of making cheese because you don't need it for cheese, but that doesn't mean it's a waste for your body. It is a little bit processed. That's why I put it just a, a hair under eggs in terms of, of nutritional value and food value because it's a processed food and eggs aren't. But still, as far as the, the nutritional value and the good stuff that's in whey, it's just off the charts. Whey and egg are the two most important densely packed foods, whey protein that is, densely packed foods you could ever eat, although, as I say, weighs a little bit processed, so it's just a hair underneath eggs in terms of food value. Okay, Robert? Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Thanks so much. Appreciate your call, buddy. Thank you. Okay, let's see. We got Anonymous in the United States. Anonymous somewhere in the United States. What's up, Anonymous? How you doing? Do we have Anonymous? Hello. Uh, I don't know if it's me, but... Um, that's you. Are, are you yeah, Anonymous? Hi. I didn't say anonymous, but it's okay with me. Okay. I just didn't say my name. Well, um, okay. I have a question. I'm grateful to you, Ben, you know, and, and Steve, you know. And uh, Steve got the other day, that's my husband. He has to add a call for his doctor. He went to check his... Ma'am, ma'am, I got to take a break, and I'm having a very difficult time hearing you from you. So, or hearing you. So, when you come back, speak up real loudly. We'll get you when we come back from our break. Thanks. Uh, hang tight. And uh, if you're on hold, we'll get try to get to all our callers today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side, and we'll be back after this. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs believes virtually all disease states can be backtracked to digestive problems. Deficiencies in stomach acid can affect all downstream systems. Taking digestive enzymes can be amazingly helpful for dealing with deficiencies in stomach acid. Enzymes require low pH for activation. You can also use aloe vera juice, by the way. Sugars in aloe vera have a coating effect on the digestive system. Longevity has a cool product called Noni Plus, which is made from aloe and the noni fruit. It's tasty. It can also function to support digestive acidification, acidification of the stomach, and activation of digestive enzymes. Take pharmacist Ben's advice and support your digestive system by ordering Noni Plus from Longevity. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like 
stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses. Products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1 877 99 Berkey. That's 877 99 B E R K E Y. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Hi, I'm Ed Krell, CEO of Destination Maternity. We proudly support the March of Dimes work to reduce the rate of premature birth. The numbers have gone down in the past five years, but still nearly half a million babies are born too soon in the United States each year. We're helping the March of Dimes fund cutting-edge research and community programs to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit MarchofDimes.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. GCN thanks our listeners for all your support this year. We wish you all the best in 2014. Happy New Year from GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side talking to our anonymous friend. (laughs) Ma'am? I'm sorry, what's your name, ma'am? Okay, sir. uh, Ben. Yes. Okay, I, I prefer not to mention Okay, my no name. problem. No problem, but I can hear you better now, so why don't you okay, uh, ask thanks. me a question. I, we're just going through the flu, and that's why my voice is horrible. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, you want some help we, with that? You want some help? Well, I'm taking uh, Bragg's vinegar with uh, lemon juice. Okay. No, but my question was that was this, you know, uh, uh, Steve, he's my husband, he has spoken to in your show, you know, we're grateful to you, he used to have diabetes, and uh, that's okay, thanks to the Lord. Now, uh, the doctor called us the other day because he went to get uh, his blood sugar test, Okay. and we usually don't. Rose, I need, is this, Rose, I need you to uh, cut, yeah, that's get, me. <laughs> ask me, ask me, yeah, I, I know that, now you said Steve was your husband, but I need you to get me, uh, ask a question, I got a bunch of folks I want to get to Okay, call, he got a count of cholesterol 230. Okay. And then I want to let you know, my father-in-law, he, he got sick following McDougal's advice, and eventually he developed cancer. Well, I don't want to blame McDougal for that, but it, McDougal no, probably gave bad advice from McDougal, for sure. You want some help with the cholesterol? Yeah. Okay, number one, cholesterol is a building substance, as we said so many times. You don't want to artificially poison your body's cholesterol system. The only people who think that's a good idea are doctors and people selling you those drugs. It is not a good idea to shut down cholesterol manufacturing under any circumstances unless you have some kind of weird genetic freak out disease where your body's producing ridiculous amounts of it. 230 doesn't count. So what you want to do is you want to focus on uh, uh, changes in cholesterol synthesis, elevations in cholesterol as a blood sugar problem. Now if he has a history 
history of diabetes, he may still be, he's not, his sugar may not be controlled. Insulin, sugar, and cholesterol go hand in hand. Blood sugar, that is. That means elevated blood sugar, elevated insulin, elevated cholesterol should be treated as the same problem. Instead of forcing your cells to stop making cholesterol with a poison drug like a statin drug, what you want to do is you want to gradually wean yourself off of anything that spikes your blood sugar and spikes your insulin and start to take in blood sugar stabilizing nutrients. Folks, this is the most important thing for you to understand. If anybody told you that your cholesterol levels are high, treat it as a blood sugar issue and start using blood sugar stabilizing strategies. That's all you need to do. Number one, even if you just take niacin, which is amazingly important, important for stabilizing blood sugar. Even if you just take time to release niacin, you're going to notice a drop in your cholesterol. But certainly if you lay off of all the McDougal foods, that's what McDougal doesn't tell you. I'll call them McDougal foods from now on, starchy foods, uh, cereals and breads. What he doesn't tell you, it doesn't talk about, and it's no, I don't mean to rip on this poor guy. He's trying to do, you know, he's doing what he thinks is the right thing to do. He's just a biochemical bonehead and doesn't understand biochemistry. So uh, I, my apologies for being a little bit, you know, snide with this poor guy. But the point is, is that cholesterol and blood sugar and, and the foods that uh, the starchy kinds of foods uh, that we all love, the potatoes and the rice and the cereal and the breads, and as well as the sweets and the fruit juices, those are your cholesterol, or your foods that will throw off your blood cholesterol. Reduce them. Then start taking nutrients that help you handle sugar. Niacin number one. Just niacin alone will make a huge difference in lowering cholesterol. Time to release maybe 200 uh, milligrams a day. Uh, make sure you're taking your niacin with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That way you'll make sure that you're getting all your B-complex vitamins. They all go together, the B-complex vitamins. Niacin is B3, but you need B1, and you need B2, and you need B6, and you need B12, and you need folic acid, and all the B vitamins, and you'll get them all in Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Use the Sweeties. Chromium is another wonderful mineral for helping lower, uh, lower cholesterol, and it will also lower blood fats, and it will also help you with your sugars. Uh, the Sweeties has got chromium and vanadium in there. Magnesium, another very, very important mineral for lowering blood sugar and reducing cholesterol. Same with selenium. Get on the OPC selenium. Get on the Osteo FX. Use the Healthy Start Pack. More fiber can help for a couple of reasons. First of all, fiber can help uh, protect the body against excess sugar, and then fiber can also sweep excess cholesterol out of the uh, excess cholesterol and excess bile, by the way, out of the body. And then the body will use cholesterol to make bile, and your blood cholesterol will drop. So fiber is another great strategy. Uh, and if you're lowering your cholesterol, it's probably a good idea to get some bile salts into your system because you're not going to be able to uh, make as much cholesterol, especially if you're on a statin, uh, make as much bile if you're lowering your cholesterol, especially if you're on a statin drug. Uh, let's see, vitamin C is probably helpful. Vitamin E is also very helpful, 400 IU of vitamin E, and then maybe 2,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C. That's my cholesterol-lowering strategy. doesn't require drugs, doesn't require doctors, doesn't require poisoning your body, and you'll feel better to boot, and you'll have uh, more stable blood sugar as a bonus. Thanks so much for your call, Rose. And by the way, if you suck on zinc lozenges, that can help you uh, get over your cold a little bit uh, more quickly, too. And, of course, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine will help, too. Thanks so much, Rose. Got to move. Anything else? Fiber. You're mentioning fiber. Yes. Make your own. Grind up flax seeds. Get a coffee grinder. Throw some flax seeds in there every morning. Grind them up. Put the powder in your smoothie. Makes delicious fiber. Plus, you'll get all this wonderful phytonutrients from the flax. Okay. Thanks so much, Rose. God bless. I uh, hope everything works out for you. Samuel in Texas, what's going on, my man? Hey there. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I have a question. My wife is dealing with, uh, she was dealing uh, with UC, ulcerative colitis for 10 years, but now she's uh, she's been showing uh, clammy hands, low blood pressure, cold extremities, and something like that. Thyroid. Her, her th her, yeah, thyroid. Her, her thyroid. So, her th so her doctor put on armor thyroid, and she's well. got some estrogen testosterone compound. But yeah. she's still dealing with these. Don't make me mad here. You're just going to make me mad, Samuel. <laughs> All sort of I'm sorry. I'm kidding you. Uh, ulcerative sure. colitis. It's not, it's not surprising that you find a link between ulcerative colitis and the thyroid. What you're not telling me here, and what your doctor should know, is that between the thyroid, the hypothyroidism, and the digestive problems is you have blood sugar problems. I call that the triangle of disease. Nobody goes right from ulcerative colitis to the thyroid without having a blood sugar and an adrenal problem in between. So those are the three areas you need to work on. Number one, ulcerative colitis. Uh, what you want to do is you want to start focusing on healing that digestive tract. Use probiotics like they're going out of style. I'd be doing 100,000, uh, I'd be doing 100 billion units, 100 billion units a day of the Biolumin Nightly Essence. I'd be using digestive enzymes after all meals. 
meals, um, eating a lot less food, certainly a lot less starchy food. Starchy food can gum up the works. You may want to be careful with dairy as well, which can also gum up the works in the in the intestine. If she has any particular food she has a, problems, a problem with, she should be staying away from those as well. Uh, and then use the Z-radical. That can help coat the, the, the lining on the colon and can help heal the colon. Same with the glucogel caps. She might want to start doing some bone soup. In fact, the bone soup may be, if, as long as she doesn't have a problem with the chicken part of it, the bone soup might be her best friend for helping soothe that digestive lining and helping, recover, helping uh, speed recovery and speed healing of the digestive tract. Uh, stabilizing the blood sugar also super important. Staying away from anything that spikes blood sugar and then using all those blood sugar nutrients that we just talked about, the B-complex, um, uh, very important for stabilizing blood sugar, as is the sweeties from longevity and magnesium, alpha lipoid acid has blood sugar stabilizing effects so does the amino acid taurine so does the amino acid arginine and so does the uh, b complex like substance choline all can be very important for blood sugar and then as far as the thyroid goes you want to regard hypothyroidism this is for everybody out there and i know there's a lot of you who have uh, thyroid problems you want to regard thyroid issues as adrenal thyroid issues this is called the adrenal thyroid axis the thyroid gland responds to what's happening adrenally. Adrenal gland responds to stress. That means relax. That means keep everything out of your system that spikes adrenal, that will cause cortisol levels to go up, your stress hormone levels to go up. Relax, relax, relax. That doesn't mean just emotional relaxation and mental relaxation, as important as those are. Hot bath is really important. Meditation is really important. Sitting still is really important. I did a post on pharmacistben.com giving you some nice techniques for for relaxation and for activating the relaxation response. And then, of course, deep breathing. Nothing will go, will, will set off the adrenal glands and cause an ultimate uh, uh, depression or suppression of the thyroid faster than low blood oxygen. So making sure she's taking, uh, doing her deep breathing techniques can be very, very important. As far as nutrients for the thyroid goes, I'm not a big believer in armor thyroid. That's just because I haven't seen a lot of people benefit from armor thyroid. I certainly, I, I've seen even less people benefit from Synthroid. So I'm not a big believer as a pharmacist because I just haven't seen great results with armor thyroid. Occasionally people will get results, but not for the most part, they don't. So what you got to do is use all these strategies we just talked about in addition to taking in nutrients for the thyroid, and there's a bunch of them. Iodine, of course, everybody knows about, but the B-complex is also very important for thyroid health. All the B-complex, but especially B1, B2, and B3. Magnesium is very important for the thyroid, and so is selenium. And, of course, taking care of the digestive system and the adrenal glands as well as the blood sugar system is always important for everything in the body, but especially for the thyroid. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, and please check out my blog, Pharmacist. Ben.com. If I left you on hold, I apologize for that. Give us a call on our next program. Tell our call screener that you were on hold and we'll get you first up. That you were left on hold, we'll get you first up. All right, uh, let's see what else I want to tell you. I'll be in Austin on the uh, Austin, Texas on the 23rd, I believe, of ja- uh, January. I'm sorry, the 26th of January. Hope to see you guys out there. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. 
big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day. Unique, affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. 